Am I still low on health? That's not where I checked that. Here. Oh, yeah, wait. I can just see, like, from here. Yeah, I'm pretty low on health. Is there a save point? Please let there be a save point. When you step into the light, you'll return to where you were before. What? Oh, that's what they mean. Okay, so we don't get to, like, go back to where we were supposed to be. No, okay, I see. I see how it works. Okay. Hey, we made it. That wasn't so bad. There's definitely a boss fight coming up, though. Something's going on. Um, hello? Am I still low on health? I'm still actually really low on health. Um, let me use some dark candy. You are going... I should actually use him to attack for once. Oh shoot, I didn't warn them. Oh shoot. Now CZ's slow. Okay. Okay, so we're warning them about Susie, and now they're on guard, and Susie can't do anything. Okay, we're good. Okay. Okay, he was like on the on the on the brink of death there, so we just barely managed to save him. Okay. So now there's only one one guy left. Oh, he's already sparable. Easy. How's everyone on health? Susie's actually pretty low. I should uh, give Susie some dark candy. I I'm I'm actually really really enjoying this game. This is this is really really cool. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing this like a lot until I beat the game. So prepare for that. I mean, not necessarily I'm going to beat the game today. I think I'm going to play until like 5.30. Maybe. Ha ha ha. So you've begun to cross the great board. The halfway point to our castle. Hmm, impressive. So it's a shame. You won't make it a step further. Wait, so this is like halfway to the castle. So we're like halfway through the game then? Already? I mean, I have been playing it a little while. You won't make it a step further. As my guys are about to smash you into blood. Yikes. Lots of blood. Splooshing blood. Very gross and bad. That's a bucket. That is a bucket. Hey, purple girl, was that scarier? Why are you asking me? Because you're really cool at being terrifying. I want to be as scary as you. I like... This guy's cool. This guy's nice. want to be like me? Yeah! Well, that's stupid. But, um, the new laugh isn't as awful. And saying you turn us into blood is, uh, cool. What's up with the bucket, though? It's to put the blood in. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm not, uh, supposed to make a mess. Anyway, thanks for your feedback. I'm really feeling scary. It's just in time for Halloween! Um, no problem, I guess. <laughs> so are you guys gonna attack us, or...? Oh, yeah. I was so excited, I forgot to bring any guys. But next time, it'll be the end for... Hey, I've just been calling you guys clowns. Does your team have an official name or something? Oh, Chris, we should come up with a name! No, we shouldn't. Then it's decided. Everyone puts a name in the bucket. Alright, everyone's put their entries. Blue person, you can choose. Since you look like you don't care. Neat paper. Lancer labeled paper. Crumpled paper. So it's very obvious whose is whose. 
the crumpled pear paper has got to be Susie's. The neat paper is definitely Ralsei's. And then the one that Lancer put his name on, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's Lancer's. Uh, I'm going to go with the neat paper. You take the neatly folded piece of paper. You open it up. The legendary heroes. The herald of fun and friendship. Oh, oh, that's mine, you don't say. See, I think it's the perfect name. Because we're all friends that like to have a lot of fun. Okay, first, jeez, that's a mouthful, dude. Second, what are our enemies going to think? That we're going to be buddies with them? Let's change it to something short. Intimidating. Something punchy. Like what? Well, uh, you know, for starters, how about just, uh, the fun gang? You know, just, uh, concentrating on the fun part. It's perfect! <laughs> well, see ya, fun gang. I've got to osmos my afternoon milk. <sighs> the power of the fun gang shines within you. Alright, I guess we're the fun gang, then. Gang, gang. <laughs> oh, shoot! Oh, no! Okay. How does this work? No! Okay, I see how it works. I think I see how it works anyway. Okay, yeah, that was right. And we are past it. Is there saxophone coming through my microphone? There probably is. I hope it's not too loud. Let's keep going, fun gang. Oh, hello. Three. Okay. Pawn men drew near. Alright, we are going to... Uh, warn them, first of all. We always have to warn them. And yes, Soups, there is saxophone. Okay, I hope it's not too loud. I hope that's not a problem. We want to also warn the enemies about Susie. Everyone went on guard. And now Susie can't do a thing. Oh no! Oh no! We're gonna... We're also sing a, a soft and entrancing lullaby. Ponman fell asleep. Susie fell asleep. The enemies became tired. Okay. Okay, we're good. Uh... Can we spare all of them? I think we can spare all of them. Oh, he's not yellow. So he's tired, but he's not asleep. Ah, shoot. Okay. Let's, um... The Pondman can't keep its eye open. Okay, I don't actually have anything that I can do. Um, you, however, you can put him to sleep. Fell asleep. And then we... Oh, we put it to sleep twice. Oh, shoot. We woke Susie up. Okay. He's sleepy. We're gonna say goodnight, and then we're gonna spare it fell asleep, and then we spared it. Okay, I got that. I understand now. Okay. I'm learning things about the fighting system. Yo, look at these slanted, slanted walls, though. This is, this is like, the only other game that I've seen that in is Earthbound, which I know that this series takes, like, a lot of, um, inspiration from. I've been playing for, okay, an hour, 20 minutes-ish. Whoa there, horsey. Pawn men are scary and all. Um, but all in they're doing is following the king. Us on the board used to have our own boss. Those in were peaceful times. But now even the boss has been reduced to the king's peon. Fear not. We, unlike the simple pawn men, possess, possess full faculty over our actions. I, Mr. Society, am far too intelligent to ever bow down to such a tyrant. Unless he asks me. He's very scary, you see. <laughs> okay, this is so deep. 
ho ho ho. Well, step on my boots. If it isn't the friendly fun gang. You boys or girls had a better turn back while you can. That's funny that they said boys or girls because um, Chris is, gen is gender neutral just like how Frisk was. I don't know if Rousey is a, a dude or not. I think R Rousey is a dude and then Susie's definitely a girl. Okay, I think. Anyway, Lancer, what is it this time? Ho ho ho. I'm simply warning you. Something extremely dangerous is lying ahead. Ho oh, ho ho, it's actually really inconvenient. Ha! I can't go home at all because I'm so scared. Wha- what is it? Oh, hey little guy. That? That's what you're afraid of? Wha- Wow, purple girl, you aren't scared? Uh, why would I be? What's it gonna do? Hmm, well, normally... Oh! That's the king. Oh! What? <laughs> it crushes people to death, I think. Okay. <laughs> so it's like a checkers thing as well. So it's like cards, chess, and checkers. All those things. This guy's like a, a checker piece, and he made it to the end, and then he got king. That's funny. I get it. Why am I explaining the joke? Here it comes. Oh, Lord, he's coming. Okay. Let's do a deep bow. Its crown loosened. That's it, Chris. If we can get its crown off, it should turn back into a little guy. Susie, help us bow at it. Nah, its crown will come off when I smash the guy to the ground. You haven't warned him at all. Oh! Yo! crown is 20% loose. Okay. He actually... He has a lot of health. Uh, we can afford to just keep making him bow. We don't need to warn him. <sighs> what is this? He's kicking at us. The crown is 40% loose. We're getting there. We're getting there. He felt stressed out and attacked. Do you just drink almond milk? Susie, stop attacking it. You're making it stronger. Psh, and let it think I'm afraid? No way. Okay. So, we might want to warn. I didn't seem to understand. Okay, so we actually can't warn it. Oh! <laughs> Okay, let's do another deep bow. It bowed back, the crown loosened. <laughs> what is this? Okay, the crown is 80% loose. This is the last one. One more deep bow. It bowed back, it's crown loosened. There it goes. And then he's just like rolling away. You won. You got zero XP and twenty dollars. We we did it. Wow, you clowns really are heroes. You saved the next twenty minutes of my life. Yeah, yeah, I am pretty great, huh? Um, Susie, not to downplay your contributions, but you didn't actually help at all. You only made everything worse by attacking it. If you had just acted nice to it in the first place, we could have avoided that entire battle. Huh? Are you for real? That thing was bloodthirsty. The only thing keeping it at bay was my axe. And earlier, you terrorized those troops? Those guys were enemies. They're for, they're for terrorizing. Yeah, she's right. And before that, you ate an innocent person's cake? Cakes are also my enemy. <laughs> Susie, whether you like it or not, you're a hero. One with the power to bring peace to the future. Could you please start acting like one? Yeah, when you lay it out like that, I've been a pretty bad hero, haven't I? Alright, Ralsei, you got it. I'll change my ways. From now on, I won't be such a rotten hero anymore. 
I'll just be one of the bad guys instead. R really? You're going to be on my team? Yeah, sounds way easier, honestly. Susie, you can't just... Quiet, Toothpaste Boy. <laughs> toothpaste Boy? That's a new nickname. That's great. Susie is my comrade now. Haha, <laughs> yeah, Toothpaste Boy. <laughs> toothpaste Boy. We're gonna have a monogram... We're gonna have monogram track jackets. Yeah! And sleepovers, where we tell each other secrets. Um, yeah? Anyway, uh, see you guys never... Haha, <laughs> if you can even last that long. I knew Susie was gonna be one of the bad guys, Chris. Perhaps I shouldn't have been so hard on her. But I just worry that if Susie is too eager to fight, then... Well, let's just be kind to her, okay, Chris? I'm sure Susie will come around soon. What is that room? That is the exact sprite of Sansa's room from Undertale. The blocky foliage grows thick above your head. The power of the forest shines within you. Hello there. Hey kid, we managed to fix up this old uh, thingamajig for you. It's some kind of door. It could take you anywhere you want in the world, as long as that's one of two locations. Anywho... <laughs> Anywho, we'll keep working on it. Anything to help you out, kid. When he said that, I was like, Whoa, Sans doesn't actually have a room. It's like a teleporting thing. He can go anywhere he wants. That's so cool. That's some lore. But then he said as long as it's one of two places. Like, you're either on one side of the door or the other. That's, yeah. Whoa there, horsey. Mr. Society and the puzzle guy fixed that door. Since it was just the three of us, it should work without any issues. Anyhow, haha. <laughs> hoping it helps you deal with the king. All right. It's a door. Where will you go? Field or forest? Uh, let's go to the forest, sure. Amazingly, you are already there. Oh. So then if we go to the field, the door opens, we go to the field. Oh, that's where the door frame was earlier! Oh! So this is like the river person, basically. So that was the first boss, then. So we beat our first boss.